Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today we're delving into what is your person hiding from you? The person that's on your mind, okay? This can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. It's a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, all right? Um, I have personals available, linked down below in the description box. You can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. And thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's all greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve into... What is Sagittarius's person, the person on their mind, what are they hiding from them? Please and thank you. I just heard, what is Sagittarius hiding from this person as well? I don't know. We'll delve deeper. Here we have, they will make you feel guilty when you don't give in to their desires. Ah, so that's where that comes from. It's like this person guilt trip you and they're like, well, you're the one that did this, that, and the next, you know? Hmm dependent could they be could it be that they're only with you for financial sexual or emotional reasons this person could try to guilt trip you um they could try to get you to give them money they could just be a user here we have lies 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 unavailable in another relationship or emotionally unavailable so it's coming out that this person is emotionally unavailable. They just can't uh, give you what you're deserving of in a relationship, okay? This Meanwhile, this person will use you to their advantage, okay? Whether it's sexual, financial, or just any type of gains, okay? Emotional as well. This person tries to guilt trip you when you don't want to go along with it. The bottom deck is hidden in the closet, some very serious addiction to prostitutes, gambling, or other expensive habits. Here we have paranoia. Suffering from paranoia, just waiting for you to slip up or be unfaithful is driving them mad. See, this is somebody that can dish it out but can't take it. And they really have like um, some type of secret fetish, seems like. You know, they want me to pull one more. Um, bad traits, cold hearted. They are out of touch with their deeper feelings. Yeah, so this person emotionally, they they just, they don't have a lot to offer you. Must delve deeper. What is this person's feelings, please and thank you? Surprise, right? Surprise, it's your fault, Sagittarius. This could be an air sign, could be a water sign. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, a gift. Spirit is saying, like, you're really worth more than gold. Like, you're priceless, okay? You are worthy of so much more, right? But it's like this person is going to make it seem like it's nothing that you can offer them. It's like a never-ending story with them. Yeah, a house. Until they get everything out of you, okay? Until they suck you dry. That's this person. Here we have sweetheart. So this person is willing to butter you up. Then you sweetheart. Now you bae when they need some. You know, that's what's hidden is this person butters you up. Like, oh, bae, look, boo, this, bae, that. You know, when they need some, they gonna butter you right on up though. What's at the bottom of here? Mm -hmm. enemy in reverse they want to make it seem like they're trustworthy you can trust me yeah the whole time this person is a foe okay why because they just tell lies 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 they're unavailable it's like this person even knows that they are unavailable you know they know they they probably think about this but i don't know with the surprise there it's like surprise manipulation yeah, with the Lord here, this is somebody that it just it's all for their benefit, all for their advancement. Okay, so they can look more good, you know, widower, and then they just gonna toss you away. Act like, oh well, it just didn't work out, you know, something like that. Yeah. Like, oh, and I was whole time I don't, uh, I don't like this energy. Yeah, whole time this person is praying for something else. Praying to get out of this relationship. Yeah, with the wedding here. 
praying to get out of this commitment. So they may feel they may cry and act like the victim. That's what it's looking like. Like this person plays the victim to get sympathy from others. And then shit, they scramble right on into their life next. And suck them dry too. At least that's what I'm getting. Let's throw some tear it on it. What is Sagittarius this person? The person on their mind? What are they hiding from them? Mm -hmm. Transformation. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. This is going to usher in a transformation in your life. Oh, half my deck just fell out. Wise counsel. Um, justice. This person could be with me seeing that King of Pentacles there. This person is very materialistic, but could be an earth sign as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. What else? Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords energy, losing sleep. Okay. Unfounded fear. Expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Hmm. You could be worried about something. It's like you both are. They're worried about keeping this facade up. And you're worried about this transformation that takes place. And it's almost like you're seeing red flags and you could be trying to ignore them a little bit. You know? Mm. Five of Cups. Looking at... what was lost instead of what's to come. Let me see if some more cards fail. Yeah. These two are on the ground. So yeah, Ten of Swords, walking away from the things that hurt you. Okay. And it's like, damn, you really can't get over being put as a third party. But there is an energy like they didn't win. It's like when you find this out, it really hurts you, of course. But Spirit is saying like it's a way for you to pull these swords out your back because it's something more for you. You know, this could be like a test, right? With this transformation here, you getting through a cycle in your life where you're learning these spiritual lessons. I'm surprised the hair fine isn't out here. Here we have that three of swords energy. Yeah, that heartbreak. Like I know it says great sadness that will heal with time though. Okay. Like all the past personal growth that comes from challenges. And then we have eight of wands. As soon as that personal growth, as soon as that spiritual lesson is learned, now we have a lot of things are going on. Okay. Stress caused by so many positive opportunities coming in at once for you. All right. And it's just saying seeds, well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. So you have something coming in for you because you've done the hard work. This is that seven of pentacles energy. Okay. So just hold fast. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like um, you're just going through a transformation. All right, don't be more hard on yourself than this experience is on you already. Okay, you've been making the right decisions and you've done the work in the past. And I feel like abundance will be flowing towards you. With the four wands here, you could be um, moving to a new home like you could be getting approval notice for that um you could be moving towards a marriage yeah with the two of wands here it looks like you make some type of decision in the future towards um a foundation a stability it could be in a relationship oh yeah with the ten of pentacles here longevity okay you find somebody that is like as quirky as you or different as you you know and it's almost like you're happy like damn i'm glad but i see you getting your money right too uh, with this Queen of Pentacles energy, I see you going hard. Like, okay, so what I'm seeing is around the time that this person is trying to finesse you or get you out of money or whatever they could get out of you, right? You move on from all of that and it's like you're trying to build yourself up. It's like around the time when you're being very hard on yourself, right? So it's like you going hard, you multitasking. If you're a parent, you are working, you getting it. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups here, I feel like you have a lot of love uh, to give. Spirit is also saying like, don't be so wrapped up in the financial, in money, because 
It's like, it's like you're using that to mask your pain, you know, like you just going to work it all off, you know, make a lot of money. But at the same time, spirit is saying incorporate love with your family dynamic, like with your children and things like that too, because that's all, um, love. Okay. Yeah. With the ace of wands here, I do see that new beginning coming in for you. Okay. Mm hmm. But it comes after a bitter truth, facing the truth. But Spirit is saying that this is the truth, okay? You can expect a new beginning, right? With the Nine of Pentacles, it may take a little while for this to take place, but nonetheless, it will. The bottom deck is the Three of Pentacles. So you find out that this person has an entourage, and they probably do this to multiple people, right? You may be running to some people that have dealt with this person or over social media. Some people might um, reach out and like tell you something. That's what I'm getting with that eight of wands energy. We even have the knight of wands. So this is that person. They're telling you like, look, this person sleeps around. This person does X, Y, and Z. With the six of cups, they're telling you about the past and you're looking back at the past like, damn. With the king of pentacles, this is the person that you were in a relationship with. You're looking back at the past and you're seeing you know, maybe they were using me. Yeah, King of Swords, this person was distant emotionally, but they were there with you financially to celebrate financially. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles. Always looking for equal take, equal give and take financial wise. You know, always there to get a piece of the pie whenever they could. But let it be like date night or let it be like uh, Valentine's Day or something like that. Then this person, you know, they're not as involved. Moving forward, what is this person hiding? We have misalignment. Miracles become normal once we face all the aspects of our life in the same direction. It's like after you pulled away from this person, you were able to really see the magical side of life, really see like your manifestations triple. Like I feel like you was working hard and then you just really start incorporate and love more or at least that's the advice to and then the abundance just flowed to you naturally okay maybe before you were in misalignment because you were dealing with this person okay what's hidden i guess is that you'll be leaving them behind as you come through this transformation it's like coming out of misalignment going into alignment let's see yeah, here we have radical self-love. It's like, it's um, this reading is almost not even about this person because for a lot of you all, I could be telling you things that you already know and you want to know, like smash that like button. If you already know all this took place, you just want to know, like, what do I do moving forward? You know, then this is the read for you then as well. Um, radical self-love, it says we can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves. So it's like you move from lack to self-love. And it's like now that's all that you attract is the love that you give yourself. People come from all ends and they want to give you that same love. Let's see. Here we have mm, empty. The ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door. See, I can't make this up. You're going through a new transitional phase, okay? And it's like right at the tip of the iceberg is the ending and the beginning all at the same. I feel like you really balance yourself out overall, you know? But I feel like self-love is the key to this. And maybe when you were with this person, you weren't giving yourself that self-love because you were giving it to them. Here we have radical self-acceptance. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself, okay? You're coming in as this empress and this empress energy. And it's like the way you embody your energy, the way you recall it back, reclaim your power. That's how people see you, the way that you see yourself. It says renewal. See, you're going through a time of renewal. It says regeneration begins with decay. It comes after a moment of things seemingly crumbling, falling apart, you know? It says wishful expectations. Acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. And I feel like 
at one point you just acknowledge who this person is you're like okay look i can't do anything about that this is just an ending in my life you incorporate that self-love you begin to heal more and there is a renewal that takes place within radical self-acceptance all right once you're fully emptied out once that decay already takes place and everything is cleaned out now it can begin to heal right now you can begin to move forward. So I feel like a lot of things are going to simultaneously happen. And it comes after this person is exposed. So place yourself wherever it may resonate for you. Remember to like this video if it resonated for you overall. I thank you so much for all of the love, support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.